Stop. You can't come into this school. Why not? This is a whites only school. There's a black school 10 blocks down the road that you can go to. I'm sorry. In the early 1950s, a young African-American named Linda Brown was a student in the Topeka, Kansas School District. She lived next to a white school named the Sumner School. She had to walk far to go to her black school. She walked past the Sumner School thinking, why can't I go there if it is a better and closer school to my house? Linda Brown felt the Board of Education violated the 14th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. The 14th Amendment states, no state shall deny to any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the laws. Because of this, Brown's family, with the help of the NAACP, took her case to the United States District Court for the District of Kansas. She lost the case because the court felt that the school did not violate the 14th Amendment. They said separate facilities were okay as long as they were equal. The NAACP appealed. The case then went to the Supreme Court of the United States. Brown's case got mixed with several other similar cases across the country. This case would become one of the most important in the history of the United States Supreme Court. In 1954, the Supreme Court ruled unanimously in favor of Linda Brown. Justice White delivered the opinion of the court. He began by saying, today education is perhaps the most important function of state and local governments. Such an opportunity, where the state has undertaken to provide it, is a right which must be made av available to all on equal terms. We conclude that in the field of public education, the doctrine of separate but equal has no place. Separate facilities are inherently unequal. In the case of Brown versus the Board of Education, we find for the plaintiff. Even after the Supreme Court decision, some schools were slow to integrate. In a high school in Little Rock, Arkansas, the governor refused to let black students into the school. I want to come to school. This school will never be integrated. Linda Brown won her case. I should be allowed in. I don't care. You're not coming in. Hey, what that black girl is doing in our school? Let's get her. Hello, Mr. President. I'm having trouble with my city. The governor is not allowing the black kids into school. He's even got the National Guard blocking the school with rifles. I'm afraid I'm going to have a race riot in my city. Hello, Mrs. Mayor. Thank you for calling. I'm very worried about that situation, and it's my job to enforce the decision of the Supreme Court. I'm going to send the 101st Airborne Division of the Army down to your city to help those kids get into the school. Thank you, sir. President Eisenhower sent the 101st Airborne into Little Rock, Arkansas. They helped escort the children who became known as the Little Rock Nine into the school. <laughs> 